I remember my three-month anniversary with Marty. He made out behind the gym, and then he took me to Dairy Queen for blizzards. They say, how are you? We say, live in large and take a charge, big boy! Natalie DeSell Reed, a.k.a. Mickey from BAPS. How many C-notes we talking here? $10,000. Had us in stitches. Laughter mingling with tears. Yet, beneath her comedic genius lay hidden sorrows known only to her closest kin. Lead the way, Alfred. Who is Alfred? You know, Batman's homeboy. It's a tale of mischances. Our adored comedy stars, light dimmed too soon. Lost beyond saving. What led to Natalie's tragic end? Stay tuned for this eye-opening revelation. You get to buy a new car. Or I could save my money and let you guys show for me around. Or you could buy a windbreaker and hit the bus stop. <laughs> Natalie Ann DeSell Reed was born in Alexandria, Louisiana on July 12, 1967. She had three siblings, one brother and two sisters. Selma Lee was her mother and Paul DeSell was her father. She grew up in a Christian family background. DeSell attended Peabody Magnet High School, graduating in 1985, and studied at Gremlin State University for two and a half years. Her alma mater, Gremlin State University, awarded her degree post in 2022. She developed a strong interest in theater while studying at the university and decided to move to Los Angeles to test the waters of acting. Still, she realized the challenges of starting as an actress and worked as a waitress, receptionist, and tank mechanic mechanic for McDonnell Douglas, while her acting career took off. When Natalie made a risky move by dropping out of college to move to Los Angeles to start her acting career, her mother Thelma Lee Sherman DeSalle was always behind her, giving her encouragement. Her mother believed in her talent and ability as a young black girl from a small town in Louisiana with no connections to go to Hollywood and become an actress. She inspired many, and her brother Sherman DeSalle, he said, Prior to her passing away and before I moved to New Orleans, we would have a lot of conversations about where I was headed. Mm -hmm. She was one of my biggest cheerleaders. And, and we talked about, hey, you know, you really sometimes you just got to step out. Just step out and just do it. Mm -hmm. Don't be afraid. Just jump. Her family always believed in her. Her brother, Sherman DeSalle, once discussed her success in Hollywood. We always knew she would do great things. Once it started happening, we, the family, were the calmest people in the room because the acting career in Hollywood Hollywood was the thing Natalie breathed, lived, and ate all her life. And it was Natalie herself the audience saw on screen. She was never a surprise to us. We knew she was going to do well, he said. Once it started happening, once it started to manifest, we were the most calm people in the room because we knew it was going to happen. Mm -hmm. We knew because she just, that's what she lived, breathed, and ate all of her life. Mm -hmm. We knew that there was something exceptional about her. So to see her doing her work, it was just natural for us to watch. Mm -hmm. Most importantly, she was always herself. Who you saw on camera was who Natalie really was. Natalie DeSalle was an avid healthy food lover and a cook. She got her love of cooking and food from her mother, who passed down family recipes of pepper steaks and turkey necks and green bean gravy, which she loved as a child. Natalie was sorrowful when her mother passed away on April 24, 1999. Her life stopped and started again that day, she said on Instagram. Natalie DeSalle married Leonard Reed on April 6, 2003, and has three children, Sereno, Summer, and Sasha. Her family managed to stay away from the limelight of show business and even kept the news of her life-threatening illness private. Her break in the acting career came in 1996 when Robbie Reed cast her in Set It Off, which led her to a guest-starring role on television's Family Matters. She starred as Mickey, opposite Halle Berry, in the 1997 comedy Baps, and acted in a retelling of Cinderella with Brandy and Whitney Houston. DeSalle also appeared on TV when she portrayed Janie Eggins in 66 episodes of Eve from 2003 to 2006. Her lasting acting credits was in <laughs> You're Killing Me! in 2017, but her work continued to impact the entertainment industry. Natalie DeSalle produced Barrier, a 15-minute short film about a North Korean mother, which was released after her untimely death.
Starring alongside Halle Berry was quite an opportunity for Natalie DeSalle, and she later said Halle Berry made her feel she was just as good as Halle Berry. I'm Halle Berry. I'm here on the set of my new movie, Bats, and I'm also with my co-star, Natalie Drissel. Say hi, Natalie. Hi. Does she look equally as crazy as me? Yeah. I think so. <laughs> Halle Berry told her, no, this movie is about two people. It's not about me. You're just as special and beautiful as me. It helped her to perform in front of Halle Berry and to be free to do what she had to do. DeSalle said it was not every day you meet an actor like Halle Berry. Natalie DeSalle would sometimes wait patiently for a part that would suit her. She thought some of the roles offered were because of her figure, not her talent. She didn't feel comfortable with anyone making fun of her weight. Her fellow actors thought Natalie DeSalle was really talented as a comedian. Brian Hook said, he was different. He was extremely, extremely, extremely talented. And one of the things I used to say with Natalie is if she would have did stand up, she would have shut the world down because Natalie could talk about eating a sandwich and it would be hilarious because she's just an amazingly funny person. Natalie DeSalle once asked youngsters starting in the entertainment field to be careful when entering into a contract. During an interview, she said, do not sign the agreement unless you had someone go over it very carefully. She said she had once fallen into trouble because of a secret clause in the contract. Simply because the contract between us, I thought, was over. It was for four years. It was in the fifth year. In person, hey, I don't want to do business with you anymore. And it was an explosion. And two days later, her lawyer got back to me and said, you can't let me go because that contract you had had a secret clause in it. Very small print. And it just seemed like nothing. If we do not re-sign on paper, it will automatically re-sign itself. And you still have one more year with me. Speaking to the press, Pierre Edwards thought Natalie DeSalle had a rare Southern charm about her. She's always ready to laugh, just a good spirited person. And in this business sometimes, you know, after years and years, sometimes that wears on people and people don't become so, you know, smiley and such, have such bubbling personalities, but she kept it after her. Natalie DeSalle passed away tragically at the age of 53 on December 7th, 2020, after a long battle with colon cancer. She was surrounded by family and received hospice care at the end when she passed. The entire Black community was taken by surprise, as her illness was not known to, to even her closest friends and associates. Her death was announced on her Instagram page by her family, who said, Natalie, a bright light in this world, a queen, an extraordinary mother, and a wife, passed away. They said that she would be missed forever. But Dolores Robinson, her manager, confirmed the sad news on Twitter. She wrote that beautiful and talented actress Natalie DeSalle had passed away in the morning. Natalie DeSalle battled with her cancer privately. None of the fans or, or co-actors who worked with her knew she was ill. Brian Hooks told Comedy Hype that her husband called him only the day before her death to tell him she was not well. The sudden demise of her friend shocked Halle Berry, who starred alongside Natalie DeSalle Reed in BAPS. She tweeted with sadness as memories of Natalie flooded back to her. She taught us love, joy, and humor through her character. She could never dim her light. It was infectious. With her, I laughed harder than I ever laughed before. She showed us it was okay to be goofy and funny while still being sincere and extraordinarily kind. As if she knew what would happen the next day, Natalie DeSalle posted an inspirational graphic message on Instagram one day before her death. Natalie DeSalle's untimely death has brought more awareness to colorectal cancer. It is the fourth most common and fourth most lethal cancer in the USA. Colon cancer might not show any symptoms in the early stages and could take up to 15 years to become deadly. The American Cancer Society now recommends everyone over 45 to screen for colon cancer as a preventative measure. The Black community will miss Natalie DeSalle Reed forever, and her talent and impact during her 25-year-long career will always be remembered. Natalie DeSalle was cremated 
and her ashes returned to her husband, Leonard. Holly Robinson Pete, fellow actress and daughter of DeSalle's manager, was devastated by the news of her passing. She took to Twitter and wrote that she was absolutely disseminated by the news. Natalie DeSalle was indeed a black American princess.